Hi friends, today I discuss gravitation. Let's take some activity like a something moon goes around the earth. Moon goes around the earth. Any object any object when thrown upwards when thrown upwards reaches a certain height reaches a certain height height and then falls downward and then falls downwards if you closely observe these two activity the first is moon moon goes around the earth and the second is any object when thrown upwards reaches a certain height and then falls downward it said if I, if you see closely observe this two activity then you can say earth attracts other objects earth attracts other object by a force earth attracts other objects by a force so in these two activity it must be attracted by earth so some attraction force is applied between earth and the object in again one more activity in our solar system in our solar system all the planets go around the sun if it is sun all planet go around the sun is something like this go around the sun we can say they say that there exists a force between there exists a force between the sun and the planets and sun and the planets so from the above facts we also see that uh, if you uh, tell us the story if you uh, listen the story of uh, apple which fallen on newton so from the above facts we can also say newton concluded that not only does the earth attracts the apple and the moon but all object but all objects in the universe in the universe attract each other attract each other and this force of attraction and this force of attraction between object attraction sorry attraction between objects between objects is called the gravitation force the gravitation force so in all in all these examples a uh, attraction force exist between two objects in the case of moon goes around the earth in the in second case and in also solar system all planets go around the sun in a circular path so a gravitation force or a force of attraction exist between these
सो बाई न्यूटन बट ऑल ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन द यूनिवर्स अट्रैक्ट ईच अदर दिस फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन सॉरी दिस फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन ऑब्जेक्ट्स इज कॉल्ड द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स नाउ डिस्कस यूनिवर्सल लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन इन नेक्स्ट पेज नाउ आई डिस्कस यूनिवर्सल लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन आई टेक टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स द मास ऑफ बिगर ऑब्जेक्ट इज कैपिटल एम एंड द मास ऑफ स्मॉलर ऑब्जेक्ट इज स्मॉल एम दिस ऑब्जेक्ट इज ए एंड दिस ऑब्जेक्ट इज बी द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दीज टू ऑब्जेक्ट आर स्मॉल आर Distance between these two objects are small r. Now, according to universe, now according to universal law of gravitation, the force of attraction, force of attraction is directly proportional to product of product of the of uh, product of the masses of the object A and B. and inversely proportional to the square of distance between them square of distance between them if i combine these two equation this equation is first and this equation is second if i combine these two equation then we can say f is directly proportional to capital m into small m upon r square if i remove proportionality sign then a constant capital g m into small m upon r square this constant g is called gravitation constant gravitation constant gravitation constant now the value of g is the value of g is so now this g is called gravitational constant or universal gravitational constant universal gravitation constant and the value of gravitational constant or universal gravitation constant is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 10 to the power minus 11 if i discuss on the unit of g then g equal to f into r square upon capital m into small if i find the unit of g by this formula then i can say the unit of force is newton and r square it's meter square upon kg into kg that kg square so if i talk about the unit of the si unit of gravitation constant then newton meter square on kg square this is the si unit of gravitation constant g so the accepted value of capital g is 66.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square upon kg square upon kg square so in every case or according to newton every objects attracts the other object by a attraction force and by the universal law of gravitation and by the universal law of gravitation you commute the value of this attraction force and you got a new constant which is called which is represented by capital g and called universal gravitation constant and the accepted value of g is 
6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter square upon kg square. Let's now discuss an example in next page. Now the question is mass of earth which is capital M is equal to 6 into 10 to the power 24 kg and mass of the moon is small m equal to 7.4 into 10 to the power 22 kg and the distance between the earth and moon is 3.84 into 10 to the power 5 km find the calculate the force exerted by the earth on the moon now you know that this attraction force is equal to capital G into capital M into small m upon R square. So the capital G is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 into capital M 6 into 10 to the power 24 kg into small m 7.4 into 10 to the power 22 kg upon r square upon r square if you say r is in kilometer and the standard unit of the distance is meter then first change this kilometer into meter 3.10 to the 84 into 10 to the power 8 so put the value of R is 3.84 into 10 to the power 8 square. So the final distance of final force value is 2.01 into 10 to the power 20 Newton. So the force exerted by earth on the moon is 2.01 into 10 to the power 20 Newton. Now some important phenomena, if you say importance of importance of universal law of gravitation. If I discuss on importance of universal law of gravitation, then first this law explain this law explain the force that binds us to earth the force sorry this is that the force that binds us to earth second motion of moon around earth motion of moon around the earth and motion of planet around the sun motion of planets around the sun so these these important important phenomena explained on the basis of universal law of gravitation so i hope you understand what is the gravitation and what is the universal law of gravitation so please download the scholar learning app and if you already download this then enjoy learning thanks to watching this video